all right guys welcome back to easy dz channel today um this is going to be a video that's going to take multiple days because you know, i'm not getting it all done tonight so but i am going to start turning apart the mini bike got the new torque converter and rice motorized plate so we can so the room has clip the engine has clearance so yeah gonna start tearing into it and i'm thinking about possibly painting it that might be the color i don't know haven't found, decided yet just slapped a little bit on there to see how it might look so yeah i'm gonna set up as a time lapse and start tearing this apart and see how it goes Woo! so um yeah i will be doing a stage one to this so new exhaust and carburetor and stuff as well which I already took the air cleaner off the other day because I was trying to figure out the uh, um, throttle issues I was having, which I think it was just slightly frozen because it's working now, so <laughs> yeah. So yeah, we're going to start tearing into this, and um, yeah, I also got a quick question for you guys. Um, I'm thinking about... Because at Flat Out Friday, they have the Boonie class, which is racing mini bikes. Thinking about maybe trying to get into it next year. What do you guys think? <laughs> I really want to, but we'll, we'll see how things go. I think it would be a lot of fun to do. So, but yeah. So, yeah. Let's get to tearing this thing apart. So here's part of the reason why we're replacing this. This is the tensioner for the chain for the jack shaft and clutch, which um yeah, she's she smoked. <laughs> so but this is there's supposed to be a tensioner pulley on here and it got just destroyed at some point. So this is what we're replacing with the torque converter. It's called jack shaft system. So yeah, now I'm just Trying to see if there's a master link on this rear chain. If not, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get it figured out from there. So, I'm trying to keep this as a semi roller, but yeah, we'll see if I can find it. So, 
I just cut off the jack shaft chain because it was probably completely trashed. Honestly, that chain's probably trashed as well. So, I'll get back to it. So since I um, decided to pretty much go ahead and paint this bike, and I've, <laughs> as you guys have seen in the time lapse, tore the handlebars apart, which I need to get a new throttle housing for. Um, took the headlight off, took the, the took the whole body apart. The only thing left is tires, wheels, tires, and the engine. So four more bolts, and then this engine will be out. These things are stupid easy to tear apart. We really need an 8, a 10, a 13, a Phillips head screwdriver, and, um, a couple, and a pair of pliers. <laughs> and you can tear this bike apart. For the most part. So, except for the axles. Those are a little bit bigger, but yeah. So yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah. So yeah. The drag shaft, it's bolt. It, it, there's four bolts here. And then another bolt here. That goes th that it's all so it's all bolted together, and all that just comes right on out. So, yeah. All right. Let's see how. Let's see about getting these bolt these uh, engine bolts out. So, <laughs> this is crazy. This is insane. Been lots of the twin something this far down. all stripped down except for the basically to the frame stripped down to the frame it's a little roller now <laughs> it is actually really stupid light i was surprised because um <laughs> i'm still nursing a broken elbow right now and i didn't even struggle to pick that up so whew. i'm gonna take this out and clean it off real well man it, this thing needs a hose down so yeah gonna paint it on depending on how I want, how I want to do this for sure so you guys will see how I end up deciding to do it so yeah woo I'll catch so yeah I'm not sure if I'll make this part one like a build series or not actually yeah I'll go wash it maybe take you guys with me to go to do that host shouldn't be frozen right now I'll find out in a second if not if it doesn't want to work, I will just hand, get fill it, bucket up with some water and hand wash it some. So, because it's mainly down around the engine area that really needs clean. But yeah, so um, all right, I'll catch you guys in this back in a little bit when I start go to wash it. Ah. Thing washed off, so I had to start doing this primer first. So, there's gonna be a couple things I'll probably throw a towel in front of while I'm spray painting around like the rear wheel. Although, I might end up replacing the sprocket just because. So, yeah, it's gonna be awesome. That's all I know. <laughs> so, yeah, get to it. I'll, I'll, uh, I gotta let, I gotta dry it off first, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna film painting it much because yeah. 
Oh shoot, that thing's broke. Huh. Normally can't say I'm surprised. Just think about it. swapping this fake gas tank. Finding some finding a way to like custom mount a uh, motorcycle tank or actual gas tank on the top there. I don't know, I haven't decided yet, so we'll see what I end up, what I end up doing. So yeah. I have started primer spraying primer on everything. And here, I'll show you. Got all the body panels done, getting ready to do the frame and the bars. So I'm just gonna type off a couple things on the bars. On the frame. So I don't want painted and yeah. Get going on that. Woo! See if I decide to do a time lapse on this, the rest of this or not. I might. I don't know. So yeah. Uh, see you guys when I'm done, or you guys will see you in the time lapse. do it just because so we're gonna get strength back on that arm still my right arm so yeah not the greatest job in the world but you know it it'll work yeah it'll get the job it'll be good enough i wasn't trying to do a you know show quality paint job it's not quite like i said still not sure what i'm gonna do for the main color but I got ideas, some ideas rolling in my head. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I think I might go ahead and paint the do a frame. Cause yeah, I think I'm I'm gonna do a certain color on the frame that I already have paint for. So whew. oh shoot, I gotta do the bar still. So I'm not quite done. Get a boom primer. Oh, I'm almost out. So um. Yeah, try to figure out how to paint this a little easier. So, all right, I'll be back in a little bit. All right, welcome back, guys. It's the next day. Um, yeah, this is kind of an idea I had. Doing a bright blue frame. I'm gonna black out the triple trees and forks. And yeah, and then I'm gonna. Have probably do darker blue um, tank and fenders so it's the plan for right now because I got I have a whole list of stuff on Amazon I want to order for this I just yeah money <laughs> so some more on it here and there while I'm doing it I'm gonna, like some of the parts I have on Amazon are just um, regular maintenance items like um, sprocket chain go ahead and do all that um i need to see about ordering new tires there's a kit on one co uh, company sells that has a front brake to this which i kind of want to do but um that requires a whole new wheel every whole wheel setup and everything so yeah but yeah this is kind of look i'm this is what i'm going at right now so, um, I think right now I'm gonna work on getting the triple tree and forks apart and the front wheel off and start working on painting those black. I'm painting the bars black. I just did that today. We're here. Got them hanging up. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes though. So, it's gonna be a teal and blue bike. Be kind of cool, you know? But, you know, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> it's my bike. I do what I want with it. And, yeah, I have this color, and I do like it. 
So I am gonna clear it. I'm just gonna wait because I got I'm gonna do throw over saddlebags, but I um need to let me grab it here. I got and I got a rear rack. I got a rear rack that I want to order too for this, but so you guys kind of see I'm trying to figure out because the seat back of the seat comes to about here, pretty much the back of that frame. So just thinking about maybe right around there, trying to figure out how to mount it. I'm not quite sure. I'll probably wait till I get the that luggage rack. I want to order for it. So yeah. Yeah, wanna this thing's I just I'm basically doing a frame up restoration on this. It's four years old too. That's what's funny. It's a four year old bike. So yeah. Let me get let me get know if you guys aren't minding the whole um because normally I do like step by step videos for these garage videos, but with this I'm just kinda doing time lapses and then talking about what I'm gonna do. So let me know if you guys like that. I'm trying something out. And I know a couple other YouTubers that do it this way on cars and stuff that I watch. So sometimes they'll do a voiceover about what they're doing. Other times they just kind of do what I'm doing. Where they're explaining what, they're do what they've done or what they're doing. And then just time lapse it. So yeah. So yeah. I will get you guys set up on the time lapse. And start working on tearing this front end apart. See you in a minute. See, this is literally down to the frame now. So this is how I probably should have done painted it and whatnot. Yeah, I know I got the foot pegs on there, but I'm gonna replace this, so I'm not worried about taking them off. Yeah, that's probably how I should have done it in the first place. <laughs> oh, I can get like all of those spots and stuff like that, but um, yeah. So it's crazy to think is they only have a way to tighten the rear tire or adjust the rear tire angle and stuff on one side that was on both i will be fixing that <laughs> i mean so like i said now i'm gonna look at picking these black i don't know why i looked at it over here but yeah okay i'm gonna be looking at painting these black now um do the look paint the lower fork tubes i need to stand all the over spray off of the forks but yeah, so, man, yeah. I might move a nut spike back so I don't get any overspray on it and, spray, and spray the rest of that inside part so I can get it painted good. Maybe. Yeah. I want to paint the frame a little bit better, but yeah. I was just wanting, really wanting to see how it would look with a different color frame like this. So, yeah. Um. It's all coming together now so like i said i'm gonna figure out how to do um saddlebag um bar bars on this because i do have a, bleh. okay i do plan on throwing throw over saddlebags on the rear of this but the only thing i'm slightly worried about is it going into the chain the tire and all that yes i will have you're running a chain guard because you know safety gotta have some safety around here somewhere <laughs> But yeah, yeah, got a whole mini bike right here. <coughs> so, yeah. If you guys have any ideas about maybe making some fabricating some saddlebag uh, guard things for 
Something like that. Something like these. I'm th I'm I still might end up using these. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because these are for a Honda Shadow. A Honda Shadow. And I'm not 100% sure where the other one went, so. I guess. Think about using these still. I'm not 100% sure. Nope. Don't worry about it when the time comes, but yeah. It's all coming together. Very slowly but surely. Or coming apart, I guess. <laughs> Technically. So, yeah. Um, I guess I'll do a little time lapse of me doing the paint as long as the um, handlebars are done on the triple trees. Um, looks like this rear brake drum just to make sure, and it's actually in really good shape. So, and I did find the manufacturer tag for this bike. It is was built in seven of twenty twenty July of twenty twenty, so it's only four years old. And I'm doing a complete rest, I'm doing a complete overhaul on it essentially. The only thing I'm basically the only thing I'm not replacing is essentially the engine <laughs> everything and the axles and the frame but yeah because so I found an actual fuel tank that sits on top of this I'm I'm thinking about probably getting just so this, this cap does not hold fuel inside the tank at all so but yeah uh, all right, I guess we'll get to the part of me taping some stuff off and getting ready to do some painting. So, yeah, boo! See you guys in a sec. see it's all painted they're all painted now so now I'll have a pretty much black front end <laughs> still gotta send those off I'll worry about that later so all right, um trying to be what I want to do now so obviously I don't have the paint for the fenders and stuff yet um I'm still debating on 100% on what I want to do for that, but yeah. So, yeah. Um, I do got to paint the chain guard still. I kind of forgot about that, doing that. I'm going to take those labels off though first. So, yeah. I don't know. I might just take that one off since that is the uh, <laughs> maximum weight capacity is 200 pounds. Whoops. <laughs> Good then we'll be turning this in for warranty work. But um yeah. Wipe this down, clean it up, and yeah. Take the label off or at least tape them off, I'm not sure. What I'm gonna do for sure, but I'll show you show you guys in a little bit. So yeah. Um no, I'll probably go ahead and spray primer on that too. That way it's ready to go. So I guess I'll probably go ahead and get working on that. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Alright, what's up guys? Um, it's a couple days later. It got real cold, so didn't really want to paint much out here. But I got some color now. So we can do the paint the um, body panels. And this is what I got. Some Rustoleum Farm Implement. Ford blue paint so 
We'll see how it turns out, man. I think it'll probably go okay with that because it's a little bit darker than what I was originally thinking, but okay, we shall see. So I also picked up some extra clear coat because I wasn't sure if I had enough to do everything. So yeah, start getting everything set up to work on painting the um, forks and everything actually turned out really good so yeah like I said, get you guys set, get you guys set up on a time lapse again and i will get working on painting the fenders and the fake tank for now because unfortunately i don't have the money to get the real tank but you know hey eventually we will so cool i will see you i'll get you guys on that time lapse on definitely like you think this is, is probably a good choice so um yeah looking good definitely need to make sure you get the bottoms a little bit better okay looking good so far Whew. well these are drying for a minute i might see about making sure i got that frame all good yeah Continue on. Well, I ran out of paint, but I think I got all the areas that, most of the areas that you'll yeah, we'll be able to see. So, oh. oh, right. if I ever decide to repaint this, I'll make sure to do a better job the next time. So, that was a used can of paint, so. <laughs> I'm glad I was able to at least get what I could done. So I got the majority of it at least, so I'll, I'm happy with it at least. So yeah, mm, great. Time to get a work on uh, all this. Start working on coat number two. All right, so. Go paint it. Now I'm gonna work on clear coat. Let's get it cleared. So. All right, got the first coat of clear done on that. Now time for the mini of the frame. Start work on clearing that, doing the clear coat on that. It's gonna be a good old time. So probably drop it down onto the ground so I don't get too much paint over all my tools. So yeah. Woo. Let's get on. Yeah. Probably put it on the floor over there. Move my bike a little bit. I don't know. I'll, move, I'll get so it's not all right on my tools. Or maybe I'll do it outside since it's decent out. I don't know. Do it somewhere. So, Woo. on to the next part. Time to clear coat the frame. Time to clear cut the rest of the frame. The bombs dried up some, so. Woo! So, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see how these colors come together um, once I'm all done. Everything's all said and done, so. Alright, let's get to it. Alright guys, well I got this all painted up now, so um might make that its own video. We'll see 
I, I decide, but if I do, here's an ending for it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on. Thanks for watching me paint up my bike, my mini bike. And um, come back for the next episode of Reassembly. So we will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.